Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Stuttering Towards Success with your host, Ty Downing. Today, I will be talking about my pop-up shop. Um, if you watched the previous episode I did, I was telling you guys that I was prepping and preparing for a um, pop-up shop that I was doing. And today I will be talking about the process leading up to the pop-up shop and the actual day of the pop-up shop. And also, um, I will be adding excuse me the video and the um footage from the pop-up shop i will be adding that to the channel so you will be able to watch that once you're finished viewing this video okay well as you guys know i am the owner of a natural bath body and skincare called Dior Hypothecary and I sell men and women products so um for the pop-up shop that's what I was selling so um the process leading up to the pop-up shop I was preparing for the pop-up shop and also I had orders coming in from my website that I had to fulfill and also I work a regular job so I was like on go constantly on go and so um, my mom she it, she has saw that um I was a constantly on go and um she had offered her help her and her friend so I had her putting the labels on my products so while trying to prepare for the pop-up shop and trying to remember everything that I needed for the pop-up shop was like really hard because I'm okay when you are a one army business owner you wear several different hats every title um, in your business you wear that hat and you do all of those positions by yourself so i was trying to remember everything that i needed to buy to prepare for the pop shop um you know like them the ingredients and the packaging and um you know trying to remember the thing that I needed to make my table nice and and stuff like that and um I'm thankful for my best friend Simone because she would call me and be like Ty you know did you get this or you know you need to get this and um and, and, and um you know she had even had some of the things that I had needed to do my pop-up shop, you know, so that was like, she like really helped me because on the day of the pop-up shop, I had everything. Like I didn't say, oh man, I know I forgot this, you know, oh, oh, oh no, I should've got that. No, I had everything I needed and it was, because of Simone so that so um trying to prepare 
for the pop-up shop i was up like all night long um making batches of product and i also had the work so it was really really hectic so um on the day of the pop-up shop so i get to the pop-up shop it started snowing oh my gosh it started snowing it really did okay so we get there and it starts snowing so i'm like you know so i said to myself you know ty you know you know just make the best of it that the snow probably don't stick you know or whatever the case may be boom so people started to come in um okay my uncle came to see me and i haven't um seen my uncle george in years um so he um he had came to see me and had bought some products um from me as well and um so we end up like closing shop early because the snow had ended up sticking and i made some money but i didn't make the money that i was supposed to make back for what i spent and you know for my profit for my products but i did make some money if it didn't snow oh because of how much traffic that had came in um because the pop-up shop wasn't supposed to be from 11 a.m to 6 p.m but we had ended up um closing down like 2 33 o'clock and um because of the traffic from um when we started um to when we closed down if we would have stayed open the entire time i um would have done really really good um so yeah so we end up packing up and then i came home so that was you know basically the end of the pop-up shop but i am scheduled to do another pop-up shop in march so i will keep you guys posted on that so moving along so i am going to talk about um okay mm -hmm. i am currently in the process of um signing up for different you, you know like grants and stuff like that so i am currently doing a grant with fedex wherein you um have to post a video and um share it and people um have to like the video and things like that i will be adding that video to this channel i ask that when you leave this video to go directly to that video and view it like it and comment because the more views and the more likes and shares that i get for that video raises my chances of getting that grant for my small business and you know my vision for my business is to have an actual store um for my products wherein my customers can come in and you know they can meet with me they can talk 
to me um and so with this money that I can possibly get for the grant can help me get that store and also it can help with the proper oh, sorry the, um the proper marketing that I need to raise awareness of my brand because I have good products but I need the marketing um, to get the brand out and with this grant it will also help with that um, and so um, I ask that you guys please once you leave this video go to that video and view that and so um moving along i wanted to um touch base with you guys as far as the ones who have been watching my videos from the beginning until now i ask that you guys comment and to let me know if you guys notice any progress or decline in um, how my speech is going. Um, as I said before, doing these videos, it's, you know, like it's very easy. Well, no, I, let me take that back. It's not very easy. It's easier to talk into a video for me. Um, is standing up in front of audiences and people and talking or even talking to one on one to a person. If if I don't know you and, and I have to speak to you um my anxiety level goes up like when i was at the pop-up shop customers will walk up and say you know um tell me you know about your products and i had to stand there and talk to them about my products and I, you know I was stuttering and I felt bad and you know people like you know don't feel bad no I do feel bad because I feel like I am taking up your time um, when I um, it, okay I feel like when I stutter because of that delay that I am taking up extra time and th that may seem weird to somebody but that's you know just my way of thinking and so that's why I find myself apologizing to people when I'm talking so I wanted to talk about one of my products I had at the pop-up shop or well, anyway um, and so it is the turmeric bar It's made with turmeric powder and turmeric oil um, you, you can use it for your face or your body. I just ask that you choose one area and stick to it. Do not cross contaminate when using soap bars. If you plan on using this 
for your face just only use it for your face if you want to use it for your body only use it for that area do not cross bacteria it's not sanitary this turmeric bar it helps with dark spots it helps with skin tone it helps with wrinkles and crow's feet and and this bar can be found on www.divanation.com